Speaker, my question today is to the Premier. Uh, Premier, there's a gap in the child welfare system that leaves 16 and 17 year old children who find themselves in need for the first time without access to services. This systemic flaw creates street kids who have increased rates of hospitalizations, incarceration, and failing in school. These forgotten children under 18 are having their human rights violated under your watch. I'm surprised, actually, you haven't been sued yet. Bill 88, the Youth Right to Care Bill, closes this service gap and protects our youth. As a self-proclaimed social justice premier, explain to us why you're stalling through reading of this bill. Premier. Children Youth Services. The Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the question with respect to our youth and, and respect to what we're doing to protect our youth and with respect to Bill 88. Yes, Bill 88 has gone through standing committee and yes, we've, uh, we've had that discussion. But let me just say very clearly, we've had this discussion many times in terms of what this government is doing, in terms of their commitment to our children, in terms of our commitment to vulnerable youth in our community, in terms of listening to our youth, the youth leaving care recommendations that came forward, and everything that we're doing to ensure that they can transition into adulthood and have all the same opportunities that every child has across the province, uh, Mr. Speaker. So, in fact, yes, we are committed to our youth, and we will continue to do what we need to do to ensure all our youth are protected across the province. Speaker, with due respect, this question is for you because you have the power to make this change. This bill came directly from the children in care. These right. came from the children uh, youth in care hearings earlier two years ago. You're now responsible for the only jurisdiction in the developed world that neglects these children. I can only draw the conclusion, Premier, that you don't care. These kids end up getting picked up by high-cost high reactionary services eventually, jail, hospital, rehab services, or even worse. If they're lucky, they end up in adult welfare. We need to ensure that every child under 18, full stop, has access to child welfare system and the best opportunity to succeed in the future. Stop banking on a possible election to save you from acting as your social justice premier. Do the right thing right now. Right now. Tell us when these youth will become a priority for you. Not for your minister, not for your house leader, for you. Minister. It's never too late to have somebody leave. Finish, please. Thank you. And, and Mr. Speaker, in terms of the bill coming forward, we know how that works in terms of government house leaders having the discussion in terms of bills coming forward into this house. But let me just talk about some of the stuff that we have done on behalf of those recommendations that came out of that report. And I think everyone knows what we have done. We've raised monthly financial support for our children. We're developing mentorship Member opportunities. From we have new I mean, youth Hamilton and Mountain transition come to order. workers helping our youth. We have absolutely been listening to our youth, to the recommendations for that they have brought forward. We will continue to do so, and we will continue to do what we need to do to protect all our youth. Thank you. The, uh, the uh, member for...